Hey guys, it's me, AD Summer of 04. Today, guys, we're going to talk to you guys about Senegal 3 at Quartz of Guinea 1. And I got to say, man, Senegal finally, finally put out a convincing win. I think this is a win that they definitely uh, were convincing. Now, I know that at Quartz Guinea did have more possession. And I know some people will say, oh, you should have done this yesterday. And I know, guys, I was extremely busy yesterday. I did the post-match reaction for the qualifiers for Canada-USA game. And this game actually took place before that. And obviously during the match, you know, I was, I, I, I you know, completely forgot about it. So, you know, I decided to talk about it today. Tomorrow, guys, we'll do my semifinal predictions. So let's go talk about this game, guys. Senegal, let's look at the starting 11. So you guys can see the starting 11 was pretty much the same um, as the previous game. And they actually get, Mane actually started this game. And Boyla Dia actually started this game as well, which was really interesting. And Senegal, man, they looked good. They looked great. Mane in particular had a good game, got assist on the day, had a great ball um, to, I believe it was, yeah, to Diado to get the opening goal. And then obviously, Ecuador to Guinea. They, they had a lot of, they, they had a good game, you know, put pressure on, you know, equalized through Jenik, Buya, Sam, and then obviously, Kuyate comes off the bench, scores a goal. Then Ishmael Sar scores a goal. And basically, the substitute saved Senegal in the day, and that, Man, Ishmael Assar, man. Ishmael Assar, for me, is a player that Senegal really needed. And I think he's a player that could add so much to this team because he is a player that has been one of Watford's best players. And I think he could be a player that could really help Senegal really unlock that. Because right now, guys, their next game is going to be against um, Burkina Faso, which will be a very, very interesting semifinal. We know how good Burkina Faso have been. And Senegal, while they haven't really been in full stride, this is a game that they're still in the semifinals. And I think CS has done a great job with this team. And for Echo Tour Guinea, man, it was definitely disappointing. Like I said, they'll, they'll feel disappointed. You know, like I said, you know, they beat the defending champions. They got to all the way to the quarterfinals. And to be honest, I don't think any of us had Echo Tour getting the quarterfinals. Like, if I'm completely honest, like, they, I did not expect them to do this well. Getting, you know, getting second in that group um, with Algeria, Ivory Coast, and Sri Lanka is very impressive. And obviously, they come into the round of 16 beating Mali on penalties. And they go bow in round 16. So, like I said, they had more possession, 56, as you guys can see, 56 to 44. They actually had overall um, the more accurate passes, the better pass access access. But the thing that the key difference between the two teams is that the chances created. That's really the thing that makes the difference here. And that's why I always tell to people is that it's not about what you possess. It's not about possession. It's about what you do with the ball. Like, there could be teams with 80% possession, but they do sideways, sideways passes. That's meaningless. Whereas when you have a team with like limited possession, it doesn't necessarily mean you're going to lose. More often than not, it's actually better for your counterattack. So, um, like I said, I think Ecuador were getting, they had a good game. They played their best. You know, I thought um, for me, um, Ganet was really good. Obviously, him getting an assist there was great. You know, 82% pass. Actually, that was pretty good. Um, block shots as well. And then for Sam in particular, getting that goal was amazing. You know, um, everything for him was great. Janik Bula, Sam. And, um, yeah, the goalkeeper, man, the goalkeeper, it was okay. You know, made two saves there. Deportivo Alves at Mendy uh, playing his... Is this his, like, first game here as part of um, Senegal for um, here? Because I don't think he played the previous match. Let me go check. I think this might be his first time he's playing for them in the AFCON, I think. Let me go check. Player profile. AFCON 2021. Where is he? No, nah, he played against Cape Verde. He played against Malawi. Okay, never mind. So this is his third game in charge, actually. My bad. Third game, not charge. Third game he's played. So, yeah, I, I, I saw they had another goalkeeper. But, yeah, Edward Mendy, pretty good goalkeeper, obviously, and then Diado as well. And it's interesting that how Senegal haven't really hit their stride, but yet they're still in a semifinal, which is, I think, very interesting. So, you know, and like I said before, guys, Senegal, for me, they had a good, a good game. I think Diado had a good game. Getting that goal there, two shots. Um, I think Flair's come off the bench. I think um, Koyata had a really good game. Maybe she should be starting for now. He plays for Crystal Palace. Uh, although he's a center back, which is really interesting. He scored the goal. And then obviously Ishmael Sar, who I've already discussed. And Senegal, man, like I said, you know, just a just, uh, um, good win indeed. You know, now their semifinals are going to play against Brickman and Falso. So that's it for today, guys. Just want to give you guys my quick reaction to this match, guys. I want you guys to comment down below your guys' thoughts on this match. Like I said, guys. Um, I, I, I don't have all day to discuss about the entire match. We'll be here all day, so unfortunately. But um, I did a quick reaction. So like I said, tomorrow, guys, tomorrow I expect to see an AFCON semifinal preview. 
<clears throat> and which we'll do a preview and predictions for it. And then obviously, guys, I want you guys to check out the other AFCON videos on the channel. Remember, guys, I've been covering AFCON from day one, guys. And yeah, man, like I said, guys, big, big win for Senegal, man. And they finally, finally are in the semifinals. And which will be very interesting. We've got two big semifinals, guys. Egypt versus Cameroon and Senegal versus Burkina Faso. Two quality semifinals. Hope I'll see you there. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. Like this video as well. Comment down below your thoughts. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out.